Well, an internal battle over diversity at Google has now gone public. It began when a male employee sent out a memo arguing that Google has a politically correct culture that ignores some differences between the sexes. Now, Google's diversity chief has weighed in. She says the employee made incorrect assumptions about gender, and his views are not endorsed by the company. The argument exposes women's prolonged struggle in obtaining jobs in the tech industry. Only a reported 26% of computer and mathematical jobs are held right now by women in the United States. So so Caroline, you're an expert on tech. You cover tech. You've covered this story, which has been developing in Silicon Valley. There's a real problem, isn't there, about gender equality in Silicon Valley? It rages on, whether it's also on ethnicity, but also gender. And just to add to that phenomenal statistic that only a quarter of the jobs are held by females, they're also underpaid. Only 88 cents on the dollar versus a male is what they were tending to see women developers be paid in Silicon Valley as well. But this really has been coming to the forefront. You've seen new diversity chiefs being hired. We've heard just from Google's, and she's only just got her feet underneath the table. You've heard Twitter, of course, also saying that they've been hiring a new diversity chief. And interestingly, this is exactly what Emily Chang is trying to bring up when she's based in San Francisco, me based here in Europe, talking about that diversity agenda and she spoke to Jack Dorsey in fact about it we can have a little listen to what he said about diversity our focus has really always been on inclusion first um, and making sure that we're building an organization an environment um, and a company that people feel like they belong um, and people feel like they can contribute to David, is this something that you feel the East Coast is also talking about as well as the West Coast? Well, the East Coast has been talking about it for a while. The, the real question is, it's one thing to talk it, it's another thing to walk it. And that's been yeah. recurring, the problem, particularly as you go up through the C-suite, it's really been a challenge, as you say, on both gender and uh, racial and ethnicity. 